our dear Liz. Look at our dear Joe. Since you married Pete's brother here, there's one thing Pete feels you should know. Joe picks a fluff from between his toes, gives it a sniff on a sofa, it goes. Where Joe got this filthy habit, neither Pete or their mom knows. Sometimes when they were kids, they'd ask him why. Joe, why do you like sniffing your own toe jam pie? And Joe would just stop, he would look at Pete. And instead of stopping that toe jam, thinking, well, Fifteen years service we had out of this fine woman and her departure certainly wasn't part of the plan. I guess the big bugs are gonna have to do some thinking on how they let you get away. Oh Jane, we'll miss you tomorrow and our hearts fill in with sorrow, Jane. But we wish you all the best in your new job. We're sorry you're leaving, Lady Jane. Sophie, uh, my name's Rudy. Um, well, uh, Stephen had a question for you, and he, he's hoping you ain't gonna find it too cowardly, but he's, he's asked for my help. You see, it seems there's been something left unasked, and Stephen wasn't quite sure how to put it in words, and so I'm, I'm gonna put it to you. Give us an honest answer, Sophie. Sophie, did you watch that Netflix series without Steve? It's pretty certain you had a deal. Actually, Sophie, that wasn't the real question, although Steve did mention that series to me, and he was pretty sore on it. But he's willing to look past it if you answer this next question appropriately. Sophie, would you consider taking Stephen's hand and moving forward together? Well, Sarah, it's been four long years since y'all met, and Lou says you're her best friend. She wants to reassure you that Stephen George will take those kids camping eventually, and you'll pitch your spar break in the end. Happy birthday, Sarah Moby. Happy birthday. One last time, folks. Happy birthday, Sarah Moby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. You and you are gonna get to the spa someday. Happy birthday, Sarah Moby. Happy birthday.